All right, guys, so it's been a minute, about two, three weeks probably, uh, since we did the front end of the Mustang. We replaced all the struts and lower ball joints and inners, outers, and all that fun stuff. But one thing I didn't mention that they sent me the wrong ball joints. So when we put it all together, everything looked fine. Go down to get alignment done. And they told me I couldn't line it because the ball joints were bad. Then they, sh they showed me what they were talking about. Uh, what they're talking about is, if you guys can see this, right here, this ball joint, it wiggles. It, uh, well, long story short, uh, if it's sitting in there, say so you got the, the cup round part, ball joint goes in it. It just kind of floppies around. So they sent me the wrong lower control arms, which is freaking awesome. So I got to pull these off, send them back. They've got new ones already coming to me, which are supposed to be here in the next couple days. Get this tore off, get the alignment done. Or get those tore off, get those put on. And get this done so we can get the alignment done because I'm going to need this here next month or so because summer's coming to an end it's gonna start snowing or you know being very wet and right in the quad around is it's good but i don't want to be wet and going to work i'd rather be wet and coming home and then changing out wet clothes but other than that i'm gonna get these lower ones tore off which if you remember me putting them on they were a freaking pain in the ass so yeah Let's get these uh, tires pulled off, get cracking on, see how much we got to pull apart, and uh, put these lower control arms out of here. So after one side is done, what we're probably going to do is remove the brake caliper, uh, the ABS line, the brake rotor. Uh, might possibly undo these guys here and move the whole knuckle. Just get the, knuck the knuckle out of my way. And then we got to remove three bolts back here, two bolts right here, one bolt back over here, and there's the ball joint bolt back down there. So, it wouldn't take long, it's just, it's probably going to be time consuming, and yeah, to take it all apart, even though it's all back together. We'll just remove it all, have it hanging, and then lower control arms ready to go to get the new ones in, the right ones. I mean. Alright, I looked it on the right side, got the caliper off, brake caliper holder, the ABS light or sensor is off ready to go to get the outer and uh, lower bolt or the outer and inner disconnected. Now we got to work on uh, these two, removing these, uh, getting them loose ready to go and then getting this one completely taken out on the lower ball joint first and then we can pull these ones all the way out and remove the knuckle which then and get to the uh, little control arm here and then we'll remove those two guys and that one to get that out of there. <sighs> Joys of removing stuff after this in the front part. Alright, well, knuckles off. It's sitting right there. Now we gotta loosen uh, these bolts here. There's one each side, there's one hidden back over there. And then we gotta pull this one that is right there. It's called that one in. And that one's ready to come out. Then I gotta do the other side. Whoo! Here we go. Lower control arm. She's out. It is right there. Clean her up a little bit. Get ready for shipping. Get it back when we get the red parts. Boy, this is fun. <sighs> These two bolts that go here, they suck. They really do. 13 16 wrench or a socket. You can't get a socket in there because it's too short. Yeah. Alright, let's jump over to the other side and get it all tore apart. Well, this is the beginning of the other side. Still all together. Not a lot of room here. Oh, this side in the way. But...
Well, there's the left side. Four of them right there, all ready to go. This one's a little more, well, different because the bolt that goes through the eye bolt, well, it's a little fucked up. I'll show you, they'll clean it up and I'll show you guys, but it looks like it's stripped out. Not good. But we're getting replaced anyway. Let's see what it looks like. problem because it's all just in the wrong parts to start with so that's what's in this ball joint the ball joints I put the clip in here. Oh, sorry about the wind got a fan blowing but I think that's gonna be it for now. Ooh. Do we actually get our parts in for uh they should be here hopefully Wednesday. Today's Tuesday, so hopefully tomorrow night. So Thursday I get working on this. Get at least one side back together. Possibly both and then get in for alignment. So, guess we'll see. Good morning. It's been a, about a, know, six days, give or take, since we ordered the right parts. There were some delaying issues with the shipper and then the carrier and just a whole bunch of other stuff. So instead of it being like a three day thing or four day thing it was actually like seven days so it's been a little bit longer but here we are we got the control arms the actual right ones this time so all i'll do is i'll open these guys up and i'll show you the comparison between the two uh between the wrong one and the right one well this is the one that we put in see how that ball joint is like that and then we got this ball joint right here Those little, they look the same right but they're actually not so the difference is between the two, this one is for a 2009 or older from August of 2009. This one is in August of 2009 and newer. Oh, so that's why the ball joints are a little different. These ones are bigger. These ones are smaller. That's why it wiggled around in the uh, knuckle. This one might fit nice and tight. The same bolt will go back in there. Um, Anyway, they're both the same. This one looks a little heavier though. A little more beefier than this weird, weird one. But this is the same. This is both for the uh, left side. But let's get this one in and get it back together. Because I really like to have the uh, Mustang back here soon. Because it's either going to start raining really bad or it's going to start snowing. Alright, so we are under here. We have gotten the new control arm for the left side here. Done. Not done. But it's done here. So this is what we're looking at. So we gotta get it up here, these two bolts in. We get that bolt there in, tighten them down, and then we can get the knuckle on with the hub and reattach it to the strut, which is the fun part because it's like, you know, we gotta push this up and push this down or how we gotta do it to get it to work right. Yeah, that gave you guys a little update. There's the lower control arm in. It's taking a minute. These bolts back here, they are a pain in the butt. Those two there. We got that one there. These are torqued down the specs, 90 foot pounds on that one and the back one. That one's 75. Now we just got the we just got the knuckle on the ball joint. As you can tell, there is no gap now uh, inside that ball joint, which is nice. So we gotta tighten down this nut here, get this one tightened down, and then we gotta get in, gotta get these lined up for the strut. And then we gotta hook up the steering control, lower ball joint, and then all the little accessories, brakes, you know, all that fun stuff. Whew, all right, knuckle. Outers and inners back up with the rack for the steering, all done. These are torqued down to 100 foot pounds, and there goes my light, cool. Ah, uh, 
ABS sensor back in. This is torqued down, but it only needs to be like to 30 foot pounds because all it's doing is just holding the balls right here from, from falling out because like a little lip on the inside that just holds it in place so it doesn't like fall out of the knuckle when you go over a bump or whatever. Uh, ABS sensor is back in. I'm going to say everything's torqued down, everything's done. Now we're just going to get the uh, uh, shield back on, brakes, rotors, all that fun stuff, and move on to the other side. But I'm not going to bore you with the other side because it's basically the same thing I'm doing this side, just reversed. Right sides here, all done. I'm a little close, I can't show you guys, but there you go. New parts right there, all together, everything's back together. Now we're gonna put the wheels back on it and drop it on the ground. We'll go for a little drive, see if, uh, there's if there's any issues. Probably not, but we'll see. All right, well, we're done, but there's one problem. Look how far that wheel sticks out. <laughs> to how far this wheel sticks out. This one's straight, the other one sits out. Well, yeah, we're not gonna go anywhere. Screw up some tires, so. You know what, we're gonna get in for alignment first, then we'll uh, go for a ride, but if not, you guys like this video, Thumbs up, everyone, subscribe for more, subscribe for more, and leave us a comment, chat with us, follow us, but we're packaging up the old parts to get them out of here, and we're going to be out of here. Bye.